Hey guys, if you have a Canon dual ink system uh, printer such as this one, that means two cartridge system uh, printer, and you're missing color, there's an easy way to check that and uh, to troubleshoot that. First, we, what we want to do is just go to the home screen. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this on uh, Canon PIXMA MX492, which is the same as MX490 and very similar to the newer model TR4520. Um, so we're going to go... I'm already in the... That was already a setup menu, but anyway, um, uh, we're going to go to the home page. We're going to select the settings button right here. And then we're going to scroll to the right to maintenance. And we're going to hit nozzle check in order for us to check for which color is missing. Um, <clears throat> if it's printing blank pages or if it's missing some color, you'll be able to know which one it is. If it's absolutely gone or if it's just partially gone. Um, here's a nozzle check that's printing out right now. In our case, it's not 100%, but it's still not bad. It's going to miss some lines on uh, words. Um, when there's a picture, is it may not be as visible because it mostly uses the color ink cartridges for it. And then we have a good color ink cartridge. Um, shows about 50% on both of them. Um, but this one looks like it's missing color. So you can either uh, clean it but I recommend just manually cleaning it by taking the ink cartridge out and sometimes you may be missing one of these lines here and you can fix it by doing what we're about to do so first we're going to open the cover up front we're going to remove the ink cartridge we're going to leave the color one in there for now but this is the uh, black and white this is an aftermarket brand um but it still works just fine um the manufacturer doesn't recommend you use it but uh this is what the printer came with and like you saw it did print something out so in order to refresh the nozzle on the cartridge we're going to get a piece of paper towel fold it in um this is the sheet that i had i'm gonna fold it into about four times doesn't really matter but just kind of make a pad we're gonna spray some window cleaner on it make it pretty wet and then we're just gonna tap the ink cartridge on it kind of wipe it to refresh it and then wipe the contacts area with a dry side um, so it's all dry when you put it back into the printer and it should give a clear stamp like so. I'm going to show it to you again. So that's a little bit messy, but then when you stamp it, it's, it should look like this here. Um, sometimes if it's more than more skipped lines than what we have here, um, then just let it sit on a paper towel for a little bit. Um, not too long because it's just going to drain ink and this should do it and then I'm going to put it back once again wipe the contacts area and we're going to put it back and our ink cartridge if with the colors is fine but I still want to show you what the stamp looks like on the paper towel um, it's going to have three lines of ink here so it's going to be cyan magenta and yellow like so it's a little bit smeared but i'm gonna put that back and we're going to print a test and see if it's any better we're gonna go back to the nozzle check again press ok and it's going to print one out again so now it's a lot better the, since we tapped on it, that's why yellow is a little bit darker, but it, it, it'll just uh, get back to normal after we run again. We run some prints again. So the black is a lot better, but it's still not 100%. This is the first one. Now this is the after cleaning. So it's a lot better. Um, and... <clears throat> 
we can be satisfied with it and just keep on printing and we may not see as much of missing lines on our prints. Another thing you can do is just go to the settings menu again and you can just do a cleaning after you just did what we did together here um, by manually cleaning it. So you're going to go to maintenance again and instead of nozzle check you're going to select cleaning and let you know you're gonna press ok and it's gonna do the cleaning of the ink cartridge but if you're still having a lot of problems with either of the cartridges this is what I recommend you do put some window cleaner um, mix it with some hot water like I've done it here in this tray here and what I'm gonna do is pretty much do the same thing as we've done before But since it's hot water, um, it may um, I would mix um, cleaning solution with like a window cleaner with some hot water, so it's it just does better work. And we're going to just tap some water in there and do the same thing we did, kind of putting the ink cartridge over it. And seeing if we can clean also you can put the tip of the ink cartridge in here and just let it soak for five minutes or so um, it shouldn't drain your ink so that's how it's done then after you do that make sure there isn't any water do not submerge the ink cartridge lower than about here just the tip and get all the water out make sure this is dry again the contact area and put the ink cartridge back of course i did it much quicker than you would need to do it spend about 10 minutes on that or five um, and then put the ink cartridge back close it and hopefully the results are much better you can do it on black or the color cartridges so this is the next one that we did and you can see just one little piece is missing right here and that is probably just going to go away because it's at this point it's about 99% so um, you're gonna run a couple uh, pages through and it should work just fine you can also do the cleaning again on the printer but keep in mind that cleaning through the printer is gonna drain some ink um, so that may not be a very good idea if you're doing it a lot but after you've done the manual cleaning maybe once is fine so hopefully this was helpful for you. Like I said, this is for Manny Dual Ink System cartridges for Canon and HP. Um, and this is MX492 that we demonstrated it on. If this helped you in any way, please uh, like our video, share it with others, subscribe to our channel. And thank you guys for watching again. Thanks for your support. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.